Hey you guys, Jess Lee here, and I am so excited to have you back for the songwriter sessions. Today I have one of my favorite writers, actually probably because we wrote one of my favorite songs. Um, we have Seth Costner in the house, y'all. <laughs> um, Seth is, it's the story of Seth is so funny to me. We were literally just talking about it because our write was really unique in the way that we had you, we had Steve Virginia, me, Zach Swan, and Colton Swan. Yeah. And when we started in the room, it was literally just me, Steve, and Zach. Mm -hmm. And then I believe all of a sudden you come walking in the door. That was it. You got your piano in there yeah. all set, <laughs> set up. And then out of nowhere, Colton comes walking in the door. We're like, okay, damn, this is going to be a five way right now. <laughs> yeah, I just, I kept expecting more people to walk in. It's me like, too. Okay. Me too, but I loved it. it. the The chemistry was unreal. I don't often do. I don't know about you, but I don't often do a lot of five people rights. Usually yeah. three and four. Every once in a and every, every once in a while, we get five people in the room, and it ends up being amazing. Yeah. Like our right, where it ends up being a little overwhelming. Yeah. Um. Thank God, most of them have gone really well with the five person rights. But, right. But un writing unmeet you was literally one of my favorite rights. So. We wrote Unmeet You, the five of us, and um, for you, what was like one of your favorite moments that you'd say in the right? Was there something that stood out to you, something that was kind of funny, or or not even funny, like yeah. moving, like anything? Yeah. I, so that day, I remember it was so random because it was just this conglomerate of different people showing up, and it's like, um, didn't really know how the day was going to go. Um, that was my first time writing with you. Yep, um, very first time. And we need I, to get more in. Absolutely, we need to. <laughs> Um, but with the Swans, I go way back with them. I've known them for, for many years, used to play in their band. And um, so we had kind of had that camaraderie already. But I just remember we, we went through several different ideas yeah. that day before we landed on Unmeet You. And I think that was your idea. You had that listed in, you know, in your notes or whatever. I would not be surprised because it was a true yeah. story for me. Yeah. I, it was either me or Steve. Because I remember Steve and I having a conversation one time before being like, we, we always have these like, similarity and yeah. hooks and they'll be yeah. like maybe just slightly different but along the same lines so we'll have conversations yeah. about them but I can't remember it was either one of us but I will say really it was a true story so it was a song that hit so hard with me I remember just like Zach creating a loop yeah. and all of a sudden just all these melodies and lyrics just kind of started coming out yeah. and then it was like after that we were on a roll for you sure, know <laughs> for sure and it is one of those things where you know you're talking about how many writers we had that day and yeah. it's like I feel like in those situations, sometimes there can be, you know, too many cooks in the kitchen, but yes. it never felt that it way. It did that not day. feel It felt that like way. everybody kind of had their spot and everyone was contributing and it was just... I could not agree more. Once we landed on that idea, it felt like it went pretty quick. Yeah. And I just, I knew it was going to be special. Yeah. You know, we, we wrote it in a couple hours. It didn't feel forced in any way. Mm -hmm. and It was just like such a beautiful way and like, you know kudos to you guys as the writers in the room to be able to let me be vulnerable absolutely and yeah. then help me really tell my story in a way that I can walk out and be yeah. like I feel like I had help writing this but this is me you right, know what I mean right. and, and I didn't feel like I was trying to like cut any corners just to make the song work like right. I left really feeling like I was telling my story yeah. in two and minutes and whatever it is 45 seconds yeah. you know and I mean? think that's why it ended up being <laughs> as special as it was because it was your story and you know you could feel the emotion in it and by the way you killed it on the oh, recording it's awesome you. so thank you um, yeah it was just a great day and we got to do more like you said I can't sure. wait yeah. so you guys we are going to go ahead and do the unplugged intimate sad girl version of Unmeet You. I hope you guys love it. Before I walk through that door This used to be our spot But it's not anymore I take that corner booth And I hope that you won't show up But then you show up You would have heard that drink You know I love The one you used to order for me I know that it's impossible But think of how much better if I could just unmeet you, I wouldn't think I'd need to Unlearn all the words to all the favorite songs You've been taking to my headspace Rent free, can't erase a memory I know I'll be close to moving on If I could just unmeet you 
your name in the favorites on my phone that hoodie lace with your cheap ass cologne still got your mama calling every now and then and every now and then i get to thinking if i could just on me i wouldn't think i need to i learned all the words to all the favorite songs you've been taking I never put myself through this I know that it's impossible But I'd be so much better If I could just on me I wouldn't think I need to I learned all the words to all the favorite songs You've been taking up my head space Rent free, can't erase our memory I know I'll be close to moving on If I could just on me If I could just hum.